Veto Man, <laughs> which kind of sounds like some sort of superhero or something. And what this is, this is a portable power station with 600 watts. I think it's like 1200 watt peaks. You can kind of see some of the specs right here. Battery capacity is 299 watt hour battery. It's a LIFO, so it's the lithium iron phosphate battery. It's a DC input is 12 to 30 volts 100 watt max coming in and ac output is 600 watt going out with a peak total of 1200 watts of pure swine energy on that so the and then you know just going over the rest over here and the total weight on this thing is a little over 14 maybe 14 and a half pounds i did have it already out already and checked it out just to kind of look over it let me just kind of like unbox it for y'all so open it up you know the first thing you're going to see owner's manual here and i'll go over that you it's i've already went over this thing you get some tips and check this out you get some cool little stickers this is the first time i've seen any one of these power stations give you a sticker bank to put on your power box or something like that so i've taken off that and let's just take it out very nicely packaged everybody you get these two things putting that aside we don't need these Open these up and let's see what's in them and this one i think it's the charger in this yep so that's the charger and then yeah here's the cord so this cord goes with the charger and the charger size is a 3.7 amp hour charger that is a fast charger and check this out you get a usb a to usb c you get a barrel plug that looks to be a five mil barrel plug that goes into the like the barrel outlet the 12 volt outlets on a car and a c to c so there's all of those let's put these aside peel this off we don't need that there's a few things going on with this that's very impressive so looking at it you can hit the button there it's already got 82 percent capacity on it you get the usbs but check this out this is something that i've never seen on a portable power bank i'm not saying it's not out there i just haven't seen it this is a car jumper box so this can be a an emergency jump off your car how cool is that and over here is a outlet to add another battery you could stack these up that is another cool option so a couple options that i just noticed right away you can get the jumper cable and you can get the expansion pack with this and add another battery to it you get two ac outlets and these ac outlets are 600 watts you get an led light right here that seems to have three functions on it wow yeah so it goes you know it has four five functions <laughs> so one two three four five different functions on that and it takes up to five watts of power check that out oh i like how it gives you this is a big nice display by the way it's got the dc power outlet here that's a 12 volt uh 10 amps and then it's got the 12 volt it's got the barrel plug coming out right here it's got the usb c and this usb c is 60 watts max and this is 12 watts max on this 12 watt max on the usb a and then the quick charge is an 18 max qu uh, quick charge so these two right here can be used to charge to do fast charging just so you know and then when you click it you can turn them on type c and usb it turns them on right there and then ac this one turns on both the acs right there and is there anything else on it you get some fans on the outside right here and i love the colors of this by the way i like these kind of bright colors it has 600 watts what's on the bottom little rubber feet so it doesn't move around and the handle right here is a like a nice kind of easily gripped handle and let me go over some of the recharge time so with a 90 watts uh, wall charger you get three to five hours to get a full charge a 12 volt car charger three to five hours and a 100 watt solar panel 3.5 to 4.5 hours well there's all the instructions there so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead i'm going to get a couple of things we're going to run it and we're going to put this thing to the test and i'll get a heater and i'll try to max it out and see if we can fault it out and see what it does so let me get some tools and a heater and let's put this thing to the test now okay i got a few tools here i've got my um portable sander or you know it's basically like an orbital top sander i've got me a power drill and this is a very powerful drill you know we're gonna really max it out with this heater because i think this goes up to 1200 watts total 1200 watts so that will max it out turn the ac on so turn it on the little I'm at 124 watts running this sander right here. 
That runs that, and it seems to be holding this sander very well. So I'm gonna put the sander down. Now I'm gonna run the, the drill. When I first hit the drill, it spiked up to 600. So between these two, that's holding that 320 watts very easily. Very impressive how easily that's holding that. So let's go Veto Man, let's see what you got. So this is the, the handy heater, and I love this little ceramic handy heater. You know what, it has a light on the top. So let's turn it on. Oh, you gotta make sure it's down. This does have an automatic shut off, by the way. So make sure it's laying flat. Okay, there it is on low. It's holding 517 on low. Put it on medium. 654, so it's went over what it said. It's at 640. Let's see how this thing works. This thing will only, so the Veto Man will only take, I think it just faulted out, look. It did, because that was 2,800 watts of total power coming out of this, and it just faulted itself out. So it took a lot. It took over 2,000 watts to get this to fault out. Very impressive. I've usually, I've used just this heater by itself on a lot of my other power stations, and it's faulted it out by itself. Now, how do we get it back? Do we just unplug it? There's no codes or anything. So what it's doing, it looks like it only takes the power it needs. And then when I up, when I loaded both sockets down with around about 2,000 watts, it finally faulted out. So very impressive on that, everybody. Let me clean this up and let's test these USB ports. So let's plug in. I've got the USBs on. There it is. Turn it on. We can turn the ACs off. Let's plug this in. Well, there you go. Straight to charging. Let's see if it shows how many watts it uses. It's using 8 watts on that now let's go ahead and use this barrel plug so this is what i'm going to be using in my van is a fan like this because that's where this thing's going to go is in my van so let's turn this on and turn the dc on well there you go right now it looks like we're using between the phone and this 16 watts because this is what I'm going to be having in my van on those like summer days when I'm just chilling out I'm just going to hang this in the back and then sit in the back and kind of like watch a movie or something that works perfect very impressed with this with this veto man i have a few of these um power banks and this one right here has been one of the better ones i recommend this for anyone that's doing any type of like off the grid living or just camping and you need an extra power bank and it's light this thing doesn't weigh much at all and it, it's got enough power to run you know like a little small hot plate a kettle i make a kettle that i make my drinks and things like that in the mornings or charge my cell phones and run a fan or you know what if you just need to run a drill like i do or sand a table you can do that but then the coolest feature like i said i'm going to go ahead and order one of these jumper cables here and the expandable battery and see how that works so yeah there it is everybody that's all i got in this video for the the veto man power station see you on the next video